My name is Jim Stritzinger and I'm the director of the South Carolina Broadband Office. And my job broadly is to oversee the um, financial investments in our state's broadband infrastructure. Simply stated, broadband is high-speed internet and it's the foundation for our whole economy, for higher, better quality of life for residents in their homes, better quality of business for those businesses that need to swipe a credit card, and um, it just supports a lot of different aspects of life. You know, COVID proved without a doubt that we we're missing broadband statewide and we got to get that fixed. So doing it fast. So what we do is we work with our internet service providers. We map the state every six months, understanding where they are, but more importantly, understanding where they aren't. And then we very tactically make investments in those areas that get built out over a couple years. And we're doing that as fast as we can, repeating that cycle so that we can get everybody internet in South Carolina. So first of all, the, the General Assembly and the Governor are very involved in our work and they provided um, $400 million of American Rescue Plan money to the Broadband Office in May of 2022 with pretty high expectations that we're going to get out and get it done and get, you know, get those investments in place. So we have to get the investment to an internet service provider and then they build it. And that's something everybody needs to understand is it can take as much as two years in South Carolina to build a project. And then when that comes online, then the residents get service. But we just keep doing that over and over and we have about 31 to 35 internet service providers in the state that we work with. And they're all going at the same time. So it's not one county and then another. It's not in series. It's all in parallel. So when we talk about broadband, we talk about access, adoption, and use. And then access is the physical infrastructure. Adoption is the choice that a resident or a business makes to subscribe to service. And then use is all the cool things you can do. But it's helpful to understand that it costs about eighty thousand or fifty to eighty thousand dollars per mile to build one mile of fiber and it's constructed either on telephone poles or it's buried underground but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that you know to reach two or three homes in the rural areas you'll never get that return on an investment that a business would need and that's the role of government is to step in and change the calculus so that that works out based on our current data there's about hundred and ninety two thousand locations in south carolina that still need internet service right now so we've made investments uh, first part of the year that bring the number, when it's done, when con construction's complete, down to about 133,000 homes. The thing I'm most proud of is how fast we've moved nationally. Um, in 2020, the broadband office was set up in 2021, July, but in 2020 we were ranked number 31 nationally and we've moved the needle to number six nationally and number one in the southeast. So we're actually ahead, way ahead of Georgia at 16 and North Carolina at 31. So it's a pretty proud time in South Carolina. I, I'm sure there's a lot of residents that are interested in learning more about you know, broadband in South Carolina. So I invite everybody to come to scdigitaldrive.org. That's where all the broadband maps are located. We update that and refresh it every six months. You can actually type in your own street address, see who your providers are, see where your county's missing service, and help us out. Secondly, want everybody to know, especially families that are struggling to afford to pay for internet, if your household qualifies, you can get a $30 monthly subsidy through the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. And all of our participating providers offer that service. So taking $30 off your monthly bill is probably going to help a lot.